ADA Films. We're back. Blizzy back. Hit it, hit it. <laughs> we missed y'all. Maybe if y'all didn't miss us, we missed y'all. <laughs> <laughs> What's That's good. Go ahead, King. But what? Go off. So we'll start off with Andy uh, believing the April Fool's joke. <laughs> that I believe the lie. Not lie. Got a Jordan deal, and it's a joke. He didn't. Does he need one or what? Huh? Does he need one? No. <laughs> I'm like trying to think what would it be even. They need to start giving more athletes more Jordan deals. Facts. Like who? I don't know. Just athletes. Like real. I, I, they gave like the, real athletes? They, they gave the guy from the Marlins a deal recently. That was cool. Um, Yeah, I just feel like Hasbulla doesn't need a Jordan deal. Facts. Yeah, it still has to make sense at the end of the day. Like it can't just be a money grab. As much as I like him. <laughs> or at least I used to was more. Uh, I didn't think Khaled needed a Jordan deal. Khalid? Yeah. Damn, why I was not? Like, it felt forced. It was like, like, I get it. He wears Jordans and all that stuff. But it's like, could have been better. Don't you have a Khaled 5, though? I do. That's why I said. I, I, I <laughs> fuck with him, but I felt like it could have been better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, I guess, bro. It is what it is. Anyways, tomorrow's Easter. This, she, this tea's already out, no? Yes. So, link in bio if you guys want to cop anything from the drop and anything as well. I heard that there might be a restock of something, Briss. Am I right or am I wrong? Yeah, it should be up by now. Really? Uh, the Diana hoodie. The one you have on right now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. we got to break down the fit. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, well, I'm wearing uh, Womero's, Thornbeckers. Really clean, really nice. Probably top five shoe this year. Uh, Syndicate socks. Uh, Supreme pants and double D up here, wearing a vintage Diana hoodie and a syndicate Diana hoodie. D double D's. Double and D. And then the, the hat too. Oh, and C R. The C R. Yeah. Yeah. yeah all that, all that. What did you stand up and say? What, bro? They 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 know what it is. Ah, oh, boo! It'd be like that, bro. <clears throat> all right, Andy. All right. I uh, got on the Stussy Air Maxes, right? Fossil colorway. Um, somebody told me that. Actually, Ale told me that. So obviously, I don't take off my shoe when I uh, drive. My bad, my sneakerhead. But Ale told me that if you try to clean this off, the whole thing comes off and it's just bubble. So like the paint comes off. So I'm like, I can't clean it. He said he tried it and it was just like bubble and then paint. Um, I can't do that. So played myself. Should have took my shoe off. And then just like vintage Levi pants. Um, blown out knee, 1213 fleece sample, 1213 cinchella. That's pretty much it. Simple. <laughs> Clean, simple. I'll start from the bottom also. Got the Supreme Bacons on. Oof. I thought those were pennies. I got my little uh, BV pants, a little corduroy drops, the Easter tea that is out now, and the establishment hat <laughs> that is also out now. Facts. Everything out now, low key. Easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right, around this time, we're a week away from Coachella. Personally, I'm very excited. Um, a lot of people have been telling me a lot of things about how to prepare, what to bring. You definitely have to prepare. Yeah, yeah. I had a drink yesterday. <laughs> and it, Smoke? And it was 12% alcohol. Oh, fuck. And I literally was just like... I, I, the first thing I did, I was talking to DC, and I was just like... And he's getting cooked. Nah, <laughs> chill. Why? Okay, why? Why? I, I felt it, and I feel like I'm a bigger person than you. <laughs> um, of course. And I, I, like, I wasn't drunk. But you but were buzzed. I, but I, I literally was sitting there, and I, I, I felt it. I was just like, oh, that's that feeling. That's what it does to you. <laughs> but I literally was just like, if Andy doesn't have like a drink or I have two, to pr I have to prep. Not prep. Like a week before. Just, yeah. Or not. Or just just don't. pace yourself there. Don't go too hard. Yeah. Because then they're going to have to New York you again. Shut, stop, bro. <laughs> bro, you know what's... Uh, I think about... No, I don't, I, just me every night. I think about that every night. <laughs> nah, but I think about that like... How to not make a fool out of myself. <laughs> basically, bro, like... I was thinking about like... That was the first time I think me and Simon met. And I feel like that was just like... Yo, this the motherfucker <laughs> that you be on. kicking it with? <laughs> like, bro, I got smoked. But yeah, uh, agreeable. You and my girl were talking about like... We've been saying, bro, like, I have to ease my way into it. Like, 
And I have to not let the the um the Napoleon syndrome hit me where I'm like, I got this, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, more shots. And then even DC sent me a, a meme. You sure about that? <laughs> and it's like Bro, the dude drinking. This dude drinking nonstop. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know, but I I, I feel good. I don't want to drink, but I feel like I might have to just to prep. Have a little sip or a little shot, see how you feel afterwards. Yeah, I might do a little shot first, but it's not that serious. I feel like when I drink <laughs> uh the night before, the next day I have a better workout. Maybe it's all the empty carbs. Like Maybe. I, I, I and I also not pause, I feel like I look bigger. When you drink? Like the next morning when I lift. You, I feel like maybe it's all the empty carbs just going into the right places. Facts, facts, are facts. Where I mean again, uh, I don't really do the workout thing, I just do it. Yeah. Like, I feel like sometimes, like, so this weekend I ate in and out Oof. Korean barbecue. Nice. And I had three drinks. And then today in the morning, I haven't lifted that heavy, but I was still able to lift a plate, a quarter, and a 10. And I was just like, maybe. really him? <laughs> no, not even that. I just felt stronger. Yeah. But, it, but, it, but it's happened pa- <coughs> like previous times that I drink. The next morning, obviously, it's not fucking gym advice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just, I, for some reason, in me, I just feel a little bit more like, or maybe just because in my head, I'm like, oh, I, ha- I have to work the, yeah. this alcohol out. It could be that. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, that's me, for sure. I, I oh. even, um, supposedly, Arnold used to do that. He, he used would, to drink? Yeah, he, he would do pre-workout oh, shit. and put a tequila shot in. Don't quote me on that. I, it was supposed to be on Google saying that you do that because the tequila would go straight. It would make it, it would help it go straight to your blood. Like the the workout stuff and everything, so maybe. But I even I even um, I was even talking to my girl. I'm like, ah, it'll be cool, cause like when I drink and I feel like, uh, like it makes me want to be like, okay, now I gotta get back on my shit. So I kind of need it, low key. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> it was pretty cool drinking for a couple after a couple months. Bro, in four days nonstop. Well, I'm sure you're gonna uh, yeah, be yeah. like I don't know, pacing, bro. but bro, that's I, a lot. Saturday. I, I don't think you're gonna keep up. Nah. I so mean, Saturday, I'm good. <laughs> I'm gonna invite all the homies over to have like a little pregame party, and then we're gonna go to Coachella, and then after Rosalia, I'm, I'm, that's I, this is what me and my friends were saying. Like Afters? after Rosalia, we're gonna go to this after party Rosalia. that ends at five. Yeah, I'm not doing that, bro. I'm for sure leaving like at two easily. I don't even think you're gonna get to two. Nah. Cause bro, we gotta. I gotta drive the next day back home. Yeah, I'm not about to do all that. For the, like the Coachella days, what what time do you typically like start and like go oh, yeah, first, like for the festival know. and everything? Uh, so last year, this is my schedule. <laughs> I got my, there Thursday night. Oof. I chilled. You know, had a couple drinks, nothing crazy. Prep. Got, got some food. No, not even. Just you know, go to sleep. Oh, okay. All right, cool. It's a two hour drive or whatever. So. Yeah. Uh, the next day, I woke up, had breakfast, went to get a coffee, and then I went there like at three. And I stayed that the first day I stayed till the end. And then the second day I woke up, went to get breakfast again. <laughs> uh, and the second day, I think I went a little earlier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The second day I was tired, so I left. What? Uh, Saturday. Yeah, I left um. Saturday pretty early. And I don't know. I just I wasn't the lineup wasn't too crazy last yeah. year where I don't really care. And then I don't know, for some reason, Sunday, I was just tired. So I just didn't do anything. Yeah. I just sat down the whole time. Wasn't Sunday the weekend in uh, Swedish house? Yeah, I literally was sitting down the whole time. Bruh. I know. Like, you literally, said, I, I didn't move. You said you were um, upset with your performance. Yeah, I was. So now <laughs> we're just prepping. We're working out for Coachella <laughs> to prep for it. That's what I was thinking, too, bro. I haven't really stayed up late in, like, a, lo- like a couple months now. And, like, obviously there we got to stay up late. So I don't know, bro. You have to fine. adjust for the weekend. I'm going to have to pass. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, DC, what are you, who are you excited to see, bro? Uh, damn. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't even give a fuck. Nah, well, I, I probably have to be frank. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen him, in, like, perform. I've in seen person? him. I've seen him in person when? a gang of times. Like, he used to go to uh, Riff, and I used to see him in New York. So. In New York, he would just be around. Yeah. You just kind of like, give him, like, a little head nod. You yeah. had you had interactions with him? No, no, no. Ah, I'm never. I'm even if I see somebody that I like, like like artists, whatever, all that. Uh-huh. I never like be like, yo, what's up? Da, da, da. That's just not me. Like, I'll appreciate them. I'll acknowledge them. Oh, that's tight. I seen him, but 
Uh, but yeah, oh, like you're talking about, oh like, yo, Lil Bro. Yeah, see, so you'll never Literally. see Literally. Yeah, yeah. the only person now that I met Hasbulla, the only other person that I would it. go up to, oh, yeah. there's like three people. Future. What? Uh, I'd probably <laughs> go up to Christian Bale. Wow. Uh, Sandler and um, Jake Gyllenhaal. That's it. What would you say? I'd be like, hey, man, big fan. Like, That's you, it. Hey, you yeah, really yeah. motivate me. Like, you really kill it. Like, I like how you get into your roles. Um, it. Yeah, keep it yeah. very cordial. But I would ask for a picture, though. Like, those are the only three people that I would ask for a picture. Can I get a pic with Sandler? Yeah, I'd be like, he, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I'd be, I'd be hyped to meet them. Everybody else, like athletes and stuff like that, you know, I watch them on TV. It's cool, whatever. So, I mean, you watch movies too, but yeah. I don't know. I just feel like those three guys that I, like, I kind of look up to where I'm just like, all right, sick. But yeah, yeah. first Coachella, I think I'm the first day, obviously, Bad Bunny, Ooh. Kate Trinata. Uh, fuck, there's a ton of uh, Eric Purds. I'm really excited for that. Who's that? A uh, DJ. E uh, You're in for a show. House? EDM? Uh, it's like EDM, but he has this. He's the cool thing is that it's not a regular set. He's doing the hollow set, which is like something that he does here and there, <coughs> and it's 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 very good. Like you, you're in for a show. Like <laughs> yeah. and, and I know you don't take any weird substances, but you're in for a good show. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, Underworld, I'm really really excited about. It's like these '90s DJs. Mm -hmm. They're really sick. They had the whole soundtrack to um, Train Spotting, <laughs> one of my favorite movies. Train spotting? Yeah. Okay. Yo, bro, let me my food. Who else? Who else? Uh, who else? I know there's a ton. Loki, there's a lot, a lot of people that I want to see. Yeah. What's the best day lineup wise? You think? It just depends who you like. Yeah, yeah I think that's like a lot of people are saying like, oh, I'm not staying for Blackpink, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a ton of people for them. You know? Facts. Uh, obviously everybody's going for Willie says the Frank Ocean's the Fra Frank Ocean concert <laughs> with three days of openers <laughs> facts low key there's some people that are really just going for frank yeah i think it'll be kind of funny if frank ocean just um you remember his last uh blonded episode where he just had some guy talking about tripping out on shrooms bruh no i don't remember that <laughs> well he had a whole blonded thing that everybody gets excited for blonded because they think they're gonna he's gonna drop new music but the last one he had this like Dude, just talking about shrooms. just talking about like shrooms and like micro dosing and stuff like that for two hours and i was literally at home being like all right when is she gonna start <laughs> <laughs> but Yo. it'll be funny if he just does that nah. if he just goes on stage and presses play to that and then we're just there like say and we got scammed <laughs> but it is some frank ocean pissed. thing to do but yeah i think low-key i'm just more excited for the vibes <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Uh, All right, but back to sneaker talk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's two shoes that are getting reimagined already. Jordan Fours next year, and then Royals Royal, this year. Yeah, end of the year supposedly. Supposedly the Fours are gonna have leather uppers. I don't know if that's confirmed. I don't know how they're gonna do that. But definitely exciting to see. I just wish they gave. I don't know. I, they should have just gave us white cements or military blues. When Nike done Air. A white that was one of the, that was an April Fool's too. Oh, that's not real. Uh, boo. Oh, come on. Oh, I got, I got hey, the military blues is believable. <laughs> that was an <laughs> April Fool's. That was an April Fool's. Uh, I think. Uh, boo. See that one? I thought that's a believable. Nah, 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 nah. I don't know. I I thought that was real. Damn. Yeah, I was nah, just, I saw it, it. Was just like, I, nah, I even talked about it with a customer no, yesterday because he, he was just like, yo, the, uh, he was talking about the military blacks and he was, I was like, oh, they're about to bring out the blue ones though. He's like, word, damn, I might just wait for those then because those are way better. I was like, yeah, military no. Force. Damn, April I got Fools. bamboozled. Pain. <laughs> April Fool's going crazy, bro. But, like, nah, definitely curious to see what, if they're doing a black, like a bread with the leather. Yeah, supposedly it's with leather uppers. Ah. But it could be just somebody jumping the gun like yeah. when people jumped the gun with those what are they called bloodline ones and they thought they were chicago's Oof. Oof. i know Completely people that paid 300 shoe. a pair and those just go for 180. wow yeah so, i'm sorry danny <laughs> yo what the fuck yo he paid he, he's paid on that bottom what yeah. with the skew was chicago the, the, or something the skew was like five 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 zero eight eight whatever it's the skews of the jordan ones and yeah. it had the colorway like black, of a chicago red. one yeah. like yeah. white varsity red black yeah. So he hit, he was just like, yo, I'm going to buy 300 pairs because I think they're Chicago but ones. He, wow. And they that's ended a, up being bloodlines. That's a hard gamble, bro. Yeah. The <laughs> other thing that was worse about it is because he like would have to prepare for them like six months ahead. Yeah. So yeah. imagine your money being tied up for that long and then you get them and it's like six. And you're breaking even. 
Yeah. I mean, at least he broke even, bro. Could have well, been. Could have lost. Could have been two hundred bucks. No, that's fair. <clears throat> no, nah, I'm I'm excited for the Royals though, because mine's are super smoked. The Royals, they got to do the purple laces. But if they don't put purple laces, just just return them. Just, just send what them you back mean? To the oh, like because after after time, the but gauge. people are saying that they're su- that they're suede. You that it's know. not leather no more. It's gonna be suede, like the the black. Yeah, the, like the black leather. For real? Yeah. Or they like, might be like a different type of leather, how they did on the... Like a new buck. Reimagines? Maybe like the old ones, how I the old ones the re-imag- had the new buck? Their Jordan ones are called Reimagines. Somebody's <laughs> like, you have the Reimagined ones? And I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? Chicago <laughs> ones. Yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, they're lost and founds. So they're actually called... Reimagined. Reimagined. Reimagined me. But yeah, I'm ex- I, I don't know. I'm excited <laughs> for those. But low-key, like, I don't know what else is coming out. Nah, it's been kind of like stale. Like now, after we got the Jordan 4 SB and yeah. like the DB pack. I mean, the Travis's are coming out. Mm-hmm. Those are cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the last one. Anything ones. Travis. So, uh, is it the last one? It's the so, last one. Yeah, that's it's the what last I was saying, one. Bro. Huh? The last one, supposedly. Because I've seen, I don't know how true it is that they're going to give him like a Jordan 7. Yeah, oh. I saw seven. Somebody said fives, yeah. but I think it's sevens. Yeah. Seven, bro. Do you think it's good though that they're like stopping with the one colorways at least that they're not doing no more? Well, yeah, I'm fucking tired of Jordan ones. <laughs> okay, bro. Yeah, it's just like switch it up. Fours yeah. are coming in like as the new Jordan one, I would say. Mm-hmm. But it's just like even for me, like there's so many ones, and I feel like I've been doing it forever. Where I'm just like I put on even a fragment one, which is probably like well, obviously my favorite Jordan one. But then it just makes me think of like these <laughs> shits, and then like these shits, like yeah, it's just like. I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck, like, it's just another Jordan 1. It's not that serious. So it's not cool anymore. No, nah, they're, they're always going to be cool, but it just makes me feel like, uh, like... Basic. Uh, I don't want to say basic. <laughs> it it just, it makes it not, like, it's all watered down. Mm, it's like, yeah. there we go. Yeah, it's like drinking a bad coffee. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I agree, because it's like we talk about with a lot of, whenever Nike comes out with a new shoe, that they feel like, oh, shit, people like these? Let's milk the hell out of them. Yeah. Like, I'm sure... The Vermeros is going to be next because they see like that runners are in. Facts. Because they even, uh, we we're talking about it over the weekend, how they tried in it, 2018 and it didn't go as well. And now they're bringing it back because they see old oh, people are more into runners. Was it 2018 like when 20, they did the cold wall? 2018, 2019. Yeah, something yeah, like yeah. That. I remember I wanted them so bad, bro, but I couldn't, like, they were, the price was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. And there was none. You couldn't find any. It was just like the, the regular, like, dad ones that had the crazy colors. Uh, and they, then now they have, like, the fucking Dornbecker, they have crazy amounts of colorways. You want to talk about it a little bit for the people who don't know? The freaky colorway? I didn't even know that was a Dornbecker, bro. Yeah, so it's uh, this kid, Jalen, designed them. Mm-hmm. Um, they're cool. They come with all these extras. Like, they're ve- they're, the shoe's all Velcro. Um, you could add all these freaky things to them. I kind of just like them simple. Low key, like, <laughs> it's simple. a shoe that stands out i wore it to the beach yesterday yeah and everybody was just like oh my god i love your shoes oh my god oh my god just because it was they're so bright yeah um and then i wore it to this brewery and same thing just a ton of compliments which is cool but i mean yeah it's comfortable um i would i would say like 990 comfort oh damn which is like the model that everybody keeps saying that they were like oh let's compete with it but in reality it's just two different shoes. You can't say it's like their counter yeah. to a 990, but I mean, they're cool. Um, I'm not big on like kind of how I always tell you like, damn, you get all the 990s. It's like, That's- I'm not like going to be like, oh, I'm going to get this other colorway. I'm going to get this other colorway. It's just like, you just I, I just need one. You like it for the story or what? Yeah. Ever since I saw it right away, before I even jumped up, I was just like, oh, I hope somebody brings them in. And it's funny because yeah. a lot of like our resale homies were like, oh, we were passing on those to get the Jordan 1. Mm-hmm. And this one goes for like 500 right now. Damn. What's retail? Uh, I don't 160? know, bro. Like 160, yeah. something like that. Oh but God. everybody was passing to get the the Jordan 1, the Lost foam. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Just the Jordan 1 low, which is really good. DC has it really close to Oh, me. that Dornbecker. Yeah. The it's funny one. because oh, okay. like I really like this yeah. shoe. This one's really good. It's like turf, um, purple, rainbow. Like, I don't know. Like, they did their thing. It's one of the better Dornbeckers in a while. Idiot. One of the Cathedral kids bought a pair from us, uh, like, a couple weeks ago. He came in wearing them yesterday, and he threw wire laces on them. They look, they look better. really good, yeah. I like, the pur- I like the rainbow laces, but I think it's a really good Jordan 1 low. Yeah. Um, like that, the Zion. Um, I just was having a conversation with a friend of mine through DMs, and he was talking to me about how he paid, like, 
four hundred dollars for a Zion, but he was just like, oh. I had to pay because you can't, you don't find them. He's yeah. just like, I just ordered it off the apps because, and I literally tell him like, bro, I think we've seen no more than five in this store. Yeah. And they've literally been in and out every time we got them. Yeah. Can Can you explain for I guess for the people who don't know, the Dornbecker thing? So pretty much they partner up with Dornbecker Hospital. Mm-hmm. Um, I am not. The and who brightest is per- Dornbecker. A, I don't know, bro. Like the, I oh. just know it's a hospital. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, it's uh kids. It's almost like I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's disrespectful, but like Make a Wish like mm-hmm. type thing where like they get to design a shoe, mm-hmm. uh, exclusively only with Nike. Oh, uh, with Jordan Nike. Okay, okay, um, okay, okay. yeah. So they design a shoe, they put it out, and it um, and it's pretty cool because on, on all the lids, it has their story and what they're dealing with and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um pretty cool i mean i fuck with that it's always cool i feel like sneakerheads always kind of look forward to it some of them um haven't been as cool as this pack lately Mm -hmm. this pack was one of the better ones and it's just like you really can't hate on the packs even though they're not cool just because it's kids designing them you know yeah like a kid made that shoe yeah yeah. like they like they designed them so like they do one every year um they do make really good shoes Mm -hmm. um but yeah, it's it's pretty cool that they still keep that thing going. And it's funny because a lot of people are like, oh, they don't resell. And I'm just like, bro, it's not, it's like, who cares about reselling? Yeah, it's like, like, it's, yeah, it's not really about that. It's about like more, more so the story of yeah. what the kid is doing and everything. And even, bro, you, I, I wonder how they like pick it. Cause is, is it, I should have done research, bro. Like, I wonder if like a lot of kids do it and then they submit it and then they, and then Nike picks, like, you know? I don't know how exactly it works, but it's kind of cool because it's hard to design a shoe like kind of with the other episode when you were like, oh, what would you make? Oh, yeah. It's kind of hard to say it off your head, but when me and DC did the bespoke thing, mm-hmm. it was very okay. easy to like look through it because they have everything that you can use yeah, in front there. of you. So they'll tell you the materials you can use. They tell you what you can put on it, and I feel like it's easier to design something when you have like what you can do yeah. in front of you, mm-hmm. instead of being like, "Oh, just make up a shoe right now." It's just like, "Oh, I don't know what direction I'm going." Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I, I'm curious to see how they like how they pick and choose who gets to design a shoe. Yeah. Something I'll look look up when I'm bored at home. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, it's cool because also. Um, in the shoe box of the shoes it has their story it has their yeah. story and it has a picture of the kid so it like makes sure to like spotlight them and yeah. like give you a little bit of their history also like what they're diagnosed with and yeah it's just a cool thing that nike does and it's dope that they've kept the tradition going because it's they've been doing it since we were well before we were at riff yeah, yeah. like I remember, since the 2000s yeah i remember and it's cool because they don't like limit them like the jordan 4 had a superman sign yeah i i I, that's the one i remember the most is that that i mean that's like the most i would say the one of the more famous ones yeah um even the the jordan one it had like a like pharrell's type of character on the tongue Mm -hmm. like you remember pharrell in my mind he had like the like that little character that he had made for himself he'll show it to you but it had yeah. something like that of the kid. Like, so I guess the kid made his own version of it, like yeah. of the character, and he put it on the tongue, Yeah, which is really cool. Um, I think my favorite is probably the fours. Yeah. I think the fours right. are my favorite, then the sixes. Uh, I like the DB free run too. Um, and I like these. Yeah. I like the Jordan ones too that just came out. Those are really nice. Those, yeah. It's like kind of hard to see, but. Oh, like how, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Damn, what are character. those? That's Jordan one, the the Jordan one dorm. This is oh, dorm picker. Fuck. Yeah. Yo, those are crazy. Yeah. Damn. Shout out Nike for doing that. You know, they, they're such a big brand. Like, and I, and I, I'm. Like my thing is like. I I've seen a lot of people post it, and I didn't know it was a dorm picker. I just thought it was just like a crazy Romero that they were just trying to push out. You know, doing a crazy colorway, but then knowing that it's that, and people still fuck with it. That's pretty big, bro. Low key. No, yeah, it's, <laughs> I think it's my. It's in my top five this year. Damn. So far, I mean, it's this, the bacon. Yeah. Uh, the, the SB four and the Jordan threes right now. Yeah. I mean, so. obviously that talk will come down later, way later on, but <laughs> it's gonna be hard with like stuff that's coming out because I I can't Max. put the Travis because the Travis is like. Wait, what Travis? The, the Travis Olive. Olive. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, speaking of designing, there's a winner, no? Oh yeah, uh, Zay actually won the. Shout out to him. 
Um, it's funny because I already sent them the final mock. Yeah. I like fixed it up a little with skinny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's cool. You know, like it, I was rooting for the duck tea. Keep it a buck. <laughs> a lot of people wanted the gross tea. A lot of people wanted the gross tea. Um, but to me with the Zay one is kind of cool just because he's been messing with us since there was like a little rack in the middle with your shoes. Yeah. Facts, you know, bro. so like, I think it's like a, for him, it's a cool story. He's launching his own brand. Um, so it's like a perfect way to kind of like yeah. put something out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, he's like the homie. So it's kind of cool to like work with a homie. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and it, obviously it's Kobe. It's kind of, it's going to be, I was saying it's going to be hard to be Kobe in a LA scene, <laughs> yeah. you know, like. No, it's crazy even just seeing, cause we were like keeping track of the last voting specifically and to see how the duck and the girl kept going back and forth with like positioning. Yeah. But they never had a chance to uh, catch up to the I Kobe. just feel like <laughs> Zay also had his friends really on it. Yeah. Like his friends, like we would get mentions, like mention yeah. on their story, like you'll vote for this tea. I think he had them like out of everybody besides uh Jake with the Raptors tea. Jake had yeah. a, like it was shout out to their friends because they were posting about it, yeah, and they were pushing like yo, go vote for this, go vote for this. They even put like yo, create burner accounts, blah blah blah. <laughs> oh, <No>, bro, <laughs> no, so it was cool, um, to see people like push their design mm -hmm. for to win because yeah. i feel like the duck one i saw like one mention or two mentions mm -hmm. like uh, from like people reposting it yeah. yeah uh the girls one not too many at all but yeah zay's and especially jake's like they were getting pushed heavy by like their friends like yeah. people that have never been to the store yeah which is super sick no yeah and and i think it's good like like you were saying like he bro he's bought so many shoes from here he always buys merch buys vintage like always tags us in everything that he buys that he wears he always puts his homies on like i i even hear some of his homies come to me and be like yo i got put on by zay or i bought this tea because of zay da, da, da. so it's like i i think it's definitely like a full circle moment that is and it happened like authentically it wasn't like a force you know like a lot of you know yeah. how stuff goes but that it was like genuinely the community that picked it it wasn't like him coming to us every day being like yo let's do a tea oh, yeah. like he actually you know put the work in so you know congratulations to him and loki i can't wait to see the tea is there a back or no 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 back just the front no back yeah, yeah, yeah. just the front maybe i'll put something random to say that he was like the winner of the yeah, march yeah, yeah. Thing I feel like or something. Be cool. not too sure so when is that gonna drop do you have an idea ah uh, <laughs> fuck i don't know bro there's a couple things in motion there's, there's too many things in motion <laughs> it's funny because i went to the factory to pick this up yeah 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 and the dude was just like yo ever since you got on the emails he straight up told me this he's just like ever since you got on the emails you guys have been pumping shit out like crazy yeah. and i was just like yeah bro i was just like that's how we do it it's, it's just <laughs> consistency bro yeah. like, like yeah. even when we were there i'm like yo do you have this access to this and blah 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 yeah. and he was just like oh come to my office yeah. and we went to his office and i was like all right sample 10 hoodies we'll figure it out blah, yeah. blah. i want to see how they look yeah um but yeah i mean we're pumping shit out like crazy i don't know maybe I'll, it's a white tea i would say he is they wants to do a faded black tea but we don't do too much white teas i would say yeah. so maybe a white summer tea would be cool mm -hmm. Perfect. um or if he really wants it, I'm going to ask him if he really wants to do that. I think we're going to have to wait till like October to the NBA season circles around. Yeah. Again. Mm. Facts. But, oh, fuck. Yeah. but who knows? Um, also, speaking of L.A. things real quick, um, another shoe that's co coming out that I feel like it's a little too late, but it's cool that it's coming out. It's the purple Zoom Generation one. Oh, yeah. The suede. The yeah, the suede the one. Piece, so yeah. when LeBron signed to the Lakers and he showed up to Summer League. Mm -hmm. He yeah, pulled up in some, uh, his first shoe ever with the Zoom Generation, okay. all purple suede, and people were freaking out. Bananas. Like, they were like, yo, like, this shit gotta drop now, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. <laughs> and fucking, he, well, he's been in the Lakers for three, four years now. Yeah. Um, Facts. It's dropping, and it was funny because uh, some of my Twitter homies were saying, like, yo, it's a little bit too late. Like, it kind of lost its gas. Like, yeah. it's still a great shoe. But they should have capitalized. But they should have literally, it. as soon as he signed and he wore those into summer league, they should have dropped the link. The yeah. first, Yo, that should have been the first. That should have sold out. out instantly. Easily. Yeah, but um, it's cool to see. I'm, I mean, it's an all purple shoe. Um, <laughs> hope. I mean, I, I, I kind of want to buy it to hoop, but I don't think it's gonna do too crazy numbers at least in the resale world. They're, they're gonna go on sale. It's yeah. fucked up to say. Yo. Like unless they do like a crazy limited or they actually do like some thought to like how they drop it, which yeah. they probably won't. <laughs> It's it's like look at the South Beaches, look at the Watch the Thrones. Yeah, there used to be yep. so much bread, and look at what they go for now. It's crazy, but it's true. But yeah, we'll take a little break, and we'll come back in yeah. a bit.
yeah, you're right. Because oh, yeah, we fucked up the first one. We're back. Hello, everybody. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So I'll start off with a shoe that's right under my feet. <laughs> These foam posits. What's, you? I threw it's, the uh, what's it called? Dream or a world. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> they came out with this gray colorway. They came yeah. out with the black colorway. Um, it, I don't know if you guys pay attention, but it's something like Nike always does where they cycle out shoes every couple of years to try to like make them cool again or like put them back in style. So look, they've been dropping a lot of foam posits. They're coming out with the like classic red metallic one soon. They also had a foam posit in uh, the Dornberger collection, which we have up there outside of the camera. Uh, I don't see it. But uh, how y'all feel about these? Not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Why, bro? I like foams. Uh, yeah, foams great. Just like, not that one. I, I just don't like the colorway. A lot of people did though. Like yeah. a lot of people liked like the cool. I mean, cool gray. Any like literally anybody can fuck with. Facts. It's a solid, but I mean, it's cool. But again, it's just like retail so high. Re, uh, like, and the thing is, most people that are buying shoes right now are trying to make a buck. So it's just like Fox. let them sit for people to buy, but obviously that's contradictory to us. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I don't mind it, but I wouldn't wear it. Um, me. I do like foams though. Yeah, it's a great shoe. But even that, you're right because this shoe was two thirty plus tax. That's two fifty. I'm going for three hundred. Yeah, and it's at three hundred. I gave the dude to retail store credit yesterday. They sold already, but I mean. It's like, bro, he didn't make no money technically. Penny. Yeah. Wow. Two hundred fifty dollar penny. And it's like, again, like at the times that we're in right now, people are picking and choosing For what they're sure. spending their bread on. So. For sure. Two hundred fifty is steep. When I mean, logic, you could buy like two dunks for that price. Yeah. Easily. So. But yeah, speaking of Nike basketball, um, <laughs> I I'm really a big fan of the Sabrina one. Those are nice. Yeah, the Sabrina, uh, her first signature model. Mm -hmm. mm. it's really cool um rob will insert a picture i'm really hyped it looks like a kobe a lot of people keep saying that but it's kind of cool just because it's like um a signature model that's new that actually like i wasn't a big fan of the pg stuff it felt very cheap mm -hmm. um and then jaws is all right like it's solid but i feel like this one is like it it's i think good. a lot of people are gonna fuck with it mm -hmm. did it come out already or when's it come out I think it's supposed to come out very soon. Uh, I want to pick up a pair. I just picked up a new pair of basketball shoes, so I might sell my Kobe's since I picked up a KD3. Oh, um, the All-Stars? The All-Star, the red one that came out nice. um, for retail. Um, but but I, I don't think I should have two, three shoes on rotation for basketball. <laughs> like, I just, I need one. To, yeah. Um, but yeah, the Sabrina, I'm really hyped. I'm probably going to cop that, and I'll probably sell my KD if I like that one, if I do get it. Um, but yeah, Nike basketball always tries to make a push. I remember the golden era of Nike basketball where like they would release anything and it would resell and people would want to wear it. But it's funny that it hasn't really hit back because like, I feel like Nike basketball looks really good with shorts and baggy jeans. And mm -hmm. a lot of people are wearing baggy jeans right now. Um, it just sits better. Obviously with skinny jeans, these shoes look crazy. <laughs> um, That's a fact. but yeah, I mean, Nike basketball is always going to be there. It's if you were there. For Nike basketball era, mm -hmm. you understand. Like, yeah. it was an era. Like, we're like, motherfuckers were wearing LeBron's out. Like, yeah, I remember that. Um, KD's, like, straight, crazy, like, high tech shoes for basketball <laughs> with, with, like, fits. <laughs> yeah, with, like, fits. <laughs> yeah, that's just crazy. But uh, it was, it, it was sick because I remember even, like, they had, like, House of Hoops exclusive, super mm -hmm. limited shit. Like, they had a GR version and then, like, a Hyper Strike. It was cool, you know, like it, it made the game fun and it made you like it all had a story. It wasn't just like, oh, here's a new colorway or here's a retro. Like I remember everybody would look forward to like the Easter pack, the all star pack, the Christmas pack, like every like when these guys would debut like their shoes. Oh, wait, yeah. this uh, I think it's the mismatch, the mismatch. Kid. Okay. I got you. Yeah. Um, people would look forward to these packs. I remember um the like the kobe uh when he debuted the grinches he gave everybody courtside a pair of grinches yeah so that was wait really it just like people who bought tickets and were courtside yeah i guess whoever was courtside got the pair of grinches what i never knew that what year was that when the Grinches Recently? came out? No, when the Grinches came out. The originally. The oh, Kobe yeah, I was yeah, like, wait, they, yeah. they just came out, bro. No, 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 no not, not that. Um, Damn, that's crazy. No, yeah, so it was cool. They made it fun, you know? Um, yeah. I, I mean, the Galaxy Pack is probably like the the peak. Um, 
of it. Yeah, like it was like the peak pack. <laughs> what's the, your What's your favorite shoe to hoop in? Because I know you're hooping a lot now. Kobe sixes, uh-huh. KD threes. That's why. That's why I just purchased the yeah, KD three. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I want to try that Sabrina. Um, I tried like Kobe fives. They're cool, but I yeah. just prefer the six. Yeah. Kobe fours. I don't know. I'm not a big fan, but a lot of people do like them. I think Kobe does make the best basketball shoes. I would say. Yeah. But low key, the best basketball shoe to hoop in ever. That in my opinion, where I feel like I had my best like hooping run mm-hmm. was that uh 2012 uh what was it hyper dunk yeah oh, hyper dunks were nice the ones that with the fly knit on the side yeah crazy and you could keep your stats that shit was sick so like oh, wait what had the nike plus mat- yeah uh, i had the nike technology. plus so you had a fucking chip on your shoe and i'll tell you like your fastest run your fast Dang. how much you played for like uh how hot how high you jumped when, uh, when did that shoe come out 2012 yeah, because even some of the Kobe's had them. Yeah, like, yeah. I was, I was about to say you would think like they, they would, would continue that. Chip. Uh, no, because they they retailed it higher. Mm-hmm. So like, how much was retail? I think it was like an an extra fifty eighty bucks on the shoe, and just for the little thing. Mm-hmm. But That's it was good, sick. Bro. So imagine like having the Nike yeah. running app always on your shoe as soon yeah, as you turn exactly. it on, or like obviously you could put it on your phone. Yeah. But yeah, I remember I would just, I would play good <laughs> just, just to so get the stats, stats like good. <laughs> Yeah, I remember like how fast you ran, like your your vertical, et cetera, et cetera. It didn't keep your shot though, right? <laughs> no, no, no. It was just like it was just your physical attributes essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I think that's like one of the best shoes and one of the better looking shoes. Yeah. And I remember that's when uh, LeBron and all of them won the Olympics when they had that crazy like sick uniform that yeah. was like sharp. Yeah. There's there's wait is that the is that the one where they did the documentary? No, no, no. 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 That was the, one, the after that was 2008. Oh, okay. And it was they, around that time too. They. They retroed the two K fours, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that was like one of the best. Yeah, people also. really like the two K four. Yeah. Nike, I need to bring both of those back. No cap. Yeah, the twenty twelve <laughs> no Hyperdunk was an elite basketball shoe. Yeah. Like I never twisted my ankle in it. Nothing like it was it was good. Damn. Speaking of sh- new shoes, mm-hmm. the threes are coming out, what'd you say? Oh yeah, the the wizard piece. Yeah. Those are really nice. You need? Ah, uh, that's a one-time wear. Yeah, it's like one of those like, like it's a, not it's like white reimagined Force. three, but it, <laughs> it's like a true blue, but just like the red is what like that orangey wizard color. It, it's like a tan almost, yeah. like a tan gold. Um, yeah, it's a it's a when he used to play with the wizards. It's funny because like even the lucky green threes. Uh, um, these mm. are all colorways that this fool got drafted by another team. Facts. Like the lucky greens that that would be our white cement if he got drafted by the Celtics. Yeah. Like in reality. That's yeah, all it yeah, is. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. Like fucking, uh, I always said it when the, well, what is that thing called? The Game Royal Jordan 1 that looks like a Chicago but oh, blue. Yeah. Mm. I literally said, I was like, if he got drafted by any blue team, this would have been the Jordan 1 that everybody wanted. Facts. Literally. Yeah, yeah bro, that shit is funny. But they look good. I, th- I think it's going to be just like any of the other ones. They, they did the cement print right, I think, too. That was one thing about those like racer blues that they didn't do right. They put it like that a freaky, black, yeah, yeah, like that print was weird. I don't even know. I don't even even consider it a cement print because it's like it's like the fire red threes, <laughs> not this one. The like 2006 pair, the fire red three oh, was yeah. like black. I don't really like that. I mean, they they look good. Like the the colors look good. You know how like it looks like. You know how well, the the Celtic ones, like the original ones, everyone's like, oh, and now the new ones, they're like, the color isn't right. Like, those look like spot on. Like, they don't look like they did too somebody much of a brought, royal. Somebody brought a pack in after we got the Celtic yeah, Jordan yeah. ones. And I literally looked at the OG that people love. Like, people <laughs> love like, that shoe. <laughs> and I was I looked at it to the new one, and I'm like, yo, this shit is way better. Yeah, and yeah. it's going to sit. Facts. But people still go crazy for the OG uh, from the pack. But I, I feel that the new Celtic one is way better yeah. than the original. But, I mean, you know, people don't really like the Be- the sequel to the yeah, original. Because it's just like, it's just the reimagined version. It's like what it would look like now, like not back well, then. Well, it's not a reimagined. It's just a new shape. Obviously. It's whatever the current shape of Jordan 1's is, yeah. which is this shape. Yeah. But they're always switching it up. Another one that's coming out, too, fucking sneakers up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Is the Udo Nike SB. I'm really hyped on it. Um, I, the only thing I don't like is that I kind of noticed that I think it's going to be a slim tongue. Nah, word. That's. I think I saw that in one of the pictures where yeah. it looked a little slimmer. What is it called? Udo? Udo yeah, is the Olympic a, skater. He's a professional. He won the Japanese gold medals. Skater. Fus, fu he's rips. a beast. Yeah. Freaking. Um, I'm not going to lie. I like those a lot because to me it reminds me of like a pro V colorway. Yeah. Oh. It, it looks very like. 
like old school in that sense. And this it's one? gonna sell because yeah. it's brown, pink. It's Tur- good, bro. It's a good yeah. colorway. What the fuck? Yeah, no, it's very nice, calm. I think that- it got his little logo on the back too. Yeah, yeah, it has like the. No, nah, those are good. Yeah. Damn, these are actually really good, low key. Yeah, I yeah. think that's how dunk that I wear. Yeah. Damn. Even those, uh, a lot of people don't really mess with them, but those uh, Gardenia, Gardena. The, Gard- the Gardenias are really good. Yeah, the Fly Streetwear. Those are really nice. I kind of like the materials and all that stuff. And then also like how it's like a gum bottom. Not a gum, a cream bottom. Cream. Yeah. Creamy. No, I know. I said uh, like just compare the two, not any other way. It's like a better version of the Dodger Dunk. <laughs> <laughs> I know LA people not going to like that one. Yeah. But you <laughs> offered it to the guy when he came for the Dodger and he just looked at you crazy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yo. Wait, 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 what? Yeah. So some guy came for a Dodger Dunk we posted, uh-huh. a size 11. <laughs> And it was already sold. Okay. But then we have an 11 of the Fly Streetwear. And DC is like, oh, well, this one's technically better version Close of enough. it. And he just looked at him like, nah. He was like, it's no, fucked no, away. It's not the Dodgers. Yeah. yeah. Facts, 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 facts. But it's mad funny how, like, the yeah. approach would be very different if it had a name. Like, um, the True Blue ones. Obviously, mm-hmm. Jordan Brand has, they didn't, True. wouldn't name them Dodgers. But this guy came in and he got uh, one for him and his girl for 300 for both. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the the Jordan ones. ones. Oh, yeah. They literally look like uh, you could wear it for away jerseys for Dodgers, and you could wear it for the home <laughs> yeah, jerseys got the for the Dodger Dodgers. Ones. No, he literally said like the, you guys have the Dodger colorway ones, nah. and I was just like, oh yeah, we have both, and I think he got them for one fifty each. Obviously, brand new. Um, Damn, that's but good. What the fuck? If I feel like if Jordan Brand would have like did a fucking campaign with the Dodgers with facts, that shoe, people would have been eating bro. it up like crazy. But bro, like I think. Obviously, since we're literally, we can walk there. It's just like those Dodger dunks have been moving. Like even when they first came out, and even now, like they're moving even more. No, even last week, mm-hmm. when getting the opener. Re- getting ready for the opener, the whole week was like DMs of like you'll have Dodgers and we're yeah, like, nah, bro. Sorry. Shout out to them, bro. Shout out Dodgers, even though that's not your team. Yeah. <laughs> SF all the way. Nah, Why? What is it? What is it, bro? Like what? Like what is it about it? Because I know you're not. I think just I said like, it before. Did you? Yeah, I said that they played the Angels in the World Series. I believe it was 2002 or three. And again, how old were you? Eleven. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I remember um, every LA fan, and this is true. Every LA fan was rooting for the Anaheim Angels, and they were Anaheim. They weren't Anaheim of Los Angeles. They were just Anaheim. Yep. They were rooting for them. Because obviously they were like, oh, they're down the street, blah, blah, blah. So they're rooting for them. And again, I didn't care for baseball. I just like basketball. (laughs) So I was watching it and then I saw Barry Bonds and I was just like, yo. You never said this story. I never heard of this. For sure. I've said it to people for sure. He has? Yeah. To people on here though? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, now we're on the pod. (laughs) <laughs> so I saw Barry Bonds and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to root for the guys that you guys are opposing team. Opposing okay. team. So then I, I didn't know who Barry Bonds was. And then I was just like, oh, this motherfucker is sick. Yeah. So yeah, just, yeah. And he, they, don't want, they don't even want to pitch to him. Yeah. Um, and then from there on, I just kind of kept up with them. Obviously, Barry Bonds faded away. Um, and then they won the World Series 10, 12, 14. So for me, technically, I felt like it was like a troll that I got lucky on where I was just like, oh, these motherfuckers are winning. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, I, I went to games upstairs and I spent time uh, upstairs, uh, up there. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what? Uh, where I was just like, damn, like, just the vibe is very different from Dodger Stadium. Dodger Stadium is very, like, party-like. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. yo, we're rooting for our team. And over yeah. there, it's just like, oh, let's take a blanket and watch the game and enjoy it, you know? <laughs> but the stadium is beautiful because yeah, it's by the Cove. Um but yeah, I, I feel like it was one of those things where I just kind of like, all right, this is the team on a roof. Or like, for example, like everybody always says, like, you go for teams that aren't from L.A. And I was just like, bro, it's just like certain little things that come up. Like, I like the Seahawks. Okay. Um, the Seahawks are my favorite uh, football team. And same thing. I got into I got lucky with them, too, because <laughs> I got into it when before Matt Wilson. Ha- when, yeah, way before Wilson, when <laughs> uh, they were playing the Packers in the playoffs. And I just liked their uniforms. I was like, yo, neon green and blue. I was just like, yo, shit is sick. <laughs> And on Madden, they had Sean Alexander and Matt Hasselback, and I was just like, oh, these was are cheat codes. Um, yeah. So I remember uh, Matt Hasselback told uh, Al Harris, which was the cornerback of the Packers, in the playoff game, oh, we getting the ball, <laughs> and we scoring, and we winning. Yeah. And, and this motherfucker, first play, interception, pick six, the Seahawks get eliminated from the playoffs, and I was like, that was kind of sick. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, whatever, so then I started keeping up with them, and then they struggled for a bit. And then even that year where Pete Carroll first got him, 
they were supposed to, they weren't supposed to be that good and their defense became the legion of boom and everything and i was just like all right cool sick this is my team you know like um but yeah it was it's just like random stuff like that where i'm just like oh and sick. then basketball Basketball, I like the Clippers. <laughs> oh, no, no way. They're like, well, who's who's that also? Shu Hefner, isn't yeah. he a Clippers guy too? But I'm like big. You guys, ask Manny, I'm like big, like Darius I Miles. I've never, like, ever, ever yeah, heard I have you a bring great up a photo. Clippers. Like, I, 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 I've offered the fights for the Clippers. Yeah. Hey, what was that? Uh, you got fights? Offered, he's no. offered fights. I'll show you the picture later. Yeah. Can, can you say a story? No, it was the just story? like, so I would go to all the games because they're cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah obviously. Yeah. They're cheap. So I remember during their playoff runs, I would go to every fucking game. Easy. And they would win most of them. And then when they fucking Lost. choked it up, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember um, it was against the Game 7 of OKC. Oh, my God. And, well, going back to that, I remember I met Draymond Green at Riff. Yeah, he <laughs> and this came is in before, with the... be, this is before, he came with Jordan before Crawford. Before Golden Stereos, Wait, Jordan yeah. Crawford used to be a good uh, customer Damn. of... Jordan Crawford. Of Riff, mm -hmm. and so he brought Draymond before their playoff game, <laughs> and he was, and we were there. And this is before Draymond became like Draymond Green. He was yeah. just a shooter. Yeah. Um, and I remember we're like, "Yo, blah blah blah," and he's just like, "Yo, we're gonna beat your boys." Blah blah. He was talking shit to you, uh, to to us oh, because we were okay. LA, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, "Yep." I was like, "You're gonna need it, bro. You're gonna lose tomorrow." To so whatever. So we tapped him up. He left, and we went, and they beat him. This is before the Warriors became the Warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before they went on their run, or what? Well, they were good because they had young Steph, young Clay, Draymond. Facts. facts. Um, but they weren't like I would say as confident. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, even bringing that up, uh, like why he likes his teams and bringing up the Warriors. I started liking the Warriors because I used to like playing with them on 2K. <laughs> and this was like right before yeah, they yeah. started winning and all that shit too. Big Warrior guy. Over here. And um, but yeah, no, nah, it's just like. Kind of like how we were fucking relate to shoes because they're like certain memories of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's the same thing why I feel like people like teams besides obviously being from their fucking city and all that. Yeah, shit. but also like I don't, yeah. I honestly don't care that much. So what was much. the fade, bro? What was the fade? No, so they went to game seven. They went to game seven. Okay. To against OKC. Uh, against OKC, but mm -hmm. OKC had fucking uh, James Harden, Westbrook, and, and fucking KD. KD. Yeah. And we thought we were gonna win because we were we were at home. Yeah. So I was just like, and this is be, this is uh like before like they were good, but they weren't fucking all stars, mm -hmm. KD and them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they were great, amazing, but okay. So they went to game seven, and it was really close. You're there, and or you're yeah, watching? I was there. Oh my god, okay. And I was wearing like a Blake Griffin jersey. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! You have a <laughs> yeah, he has yeah, it. I'm oh wearing a jersey, god, and I was this was, no I was like way. in very good shape, so I would wear the jersey. <laughs> nothing, with nothing under. Nothing under. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how do I not know this? Okay, okay. And then I remember they lost, and I posted it, and I posted a selfie with the towel on my head because I was Bro. sick, and I said "fuck you" or something like that, and I put "fade me" and I put my address. <laughs> Bro, literally. Like, Yo, damn, bro. Yeah, I'll I'll but see, okay, there. that's how I know you're a real fan because you know there's some people where like when there's when the people are winning they post it, but when they're losing they don't yeah. post nothing. So at least you're like backing it no, all the way. It, it, uh, Instagram was yeah, a crazy time around that time because <laughs> we would post, bro. If you guys saw my Instagram during that time, like I would literally post anything I was doing. You were like, not mysterious, anything, man. like <laughs> not mysterious, nothing. Like I, if I was out partying, like. Yeah, destroyed yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, take yeah. a selfie and posted it bro but it was like instagram that's what i think that's what i miss about instagram because now it's so strategic in yeah. what you post and stuff like that yeah. back in the day even lebron would put selfies like thinking raw. about shit yeah, drake yeah. would post oh. like random stuff like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo <laughs> thank you like clippers ps if you say anything bad thing catch this face <laughs> 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 That's a good picture, bro. Nah. No, you, you could put you could put it on the thing. Uh, yeah, Wait, is no. that still your same address? No, right? No, nah, I don't. Okay, know okay, okay, okay. Um, no, but <laughs> well, pull up still. Instagram was cool because you would just post things that you were doing. It was like it was like, it's like TikTok. How TikTok? No, no. You know how your stories is kind of like your throwaway post yeah, type yeah, of thing. That's how it was. But that's how it was because it wasn't no story. So you would post anything you felt like posting, and it was like. It wasn't like judged. it was just like kind of like homies seeing it, maybe. No, it was a ton of nah, people seeing just, it. It was it wasn't as like he said, it, where it's strategic. Like people just post yeah, whatever the yeah, fuck yeah, didn't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. You had the crazy it wasn't filter filtered tips, yeah. or nothing. <laughs> it, it, it was cool. I missed those times, and and it was funny because like you would have to post the worst. Oh, they had their filters, yeah. and you would post it with their terrible ass filters. Yeah, I remember that. The but filter I missed that. 
<laughs> about Instagram. Yeah, it was fun. Bro, I never knew you were a Clippers Like, fan. one of, like, at that time, one of the better Instagrams was Curtin's. He had Dior and Jordan's, and he would post whatever he wanted. And it was all black and white. Yeah. And it was always, like, very, like, damn, this guy's sick. But even um, <laughs> Rob Garcia, too, he had a very good one. Um, it was before, like, who, before like this influencer market came in yeah. and again everything was a str- now everything is a strategy to add yeah and there's nothing get against it because now you make that your job yeah but i i missed the old ig where i was just like then you just post you just post anything you wanted <laughs> literally anything i put I, I remember i went to fucking vegas <laughs> and i literally again i posted a ton of drugs on my feed yeah like literally like just like a picture of them and then my boss texted me, yo, take that down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From Riff, from Riff. <laughs> no, it, nah, it was Instagram raw. Instagram didn't care, bro. Yeah. It was. It could have stayed there. There was, no story. there was no stories or nothing. I just posted it. I put, uh, no, he got mad because I put uh, Caption. EDC ready. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> no, of course he didn't need it. No. Nah, 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 nah. Of course you're going to delete that. What the <laughs> fuck, bro? You're crazy. I wouldn't even do that shit. <laughs> but again, it's just like nobody it, nobody, nobody cared, bro. Yeah. Like nah. it was such unfiltered. And again, even my homies were like, oh, have a good time, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah. bro. <laughs> so good, lucky. Yeah. I, I remember I posted, like uh, uh, me and DC, sit, DC was sitting on my lap at, uh, at Jason Mark. And Jason Mark had did us the favor of cleaning all our shoes before uh, nice. going to um, Las Vegas. And I remember we posted the picture thanking Jason Mark and DC was on my lap. And they, they, our homie like blessed us with cleaning all the shoes. Yeah. Damn, nice. Yeah, good times. So good times where now funny. you fucking get in trouble for everything. Y'all have many lives, bro. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Huh? <laughs> I said y'all have lived many lives. Not, not gonna, gonna lie. No, nah, definitely good times. Good times. <laughs> and that's why it's, it's funny now going back to you. Coachella this yeah. time it's just like Whatever. it's crazy how like shit has changed so much obviously some for the better some for the worse <coughs> but it to me I'm just like bro like yeah. <laughs> can we post that one which too? is that one the, so, the one you're sitting on I thought lap. I had the one that oh was no that one's cool post. yeah that one's yeah, not yeah, bad yeah, okay. uh, right, I'll send you. it to I'll show you I'm gonna send you all the shoes too y'all, and y'all had the Lance Mountains like on no the, y'all were matching yeah we, we took Lance Mountains to EDC and we were like oh the point was to fucking yeah, get them yeah, yeah. Uh, y'all both went to EDC damn y'all been in it yeah been doing it so Coachella's a walk in the park yo wanna hear the craziest story about EDC go ahead we were walking in and Right away, me and DC looked at each other because it wasn't our vibe. Our homie yeah. Ralphie invited us. Nice. Shout and, out Ralphie. Shout and, out Ralphie. And what, he was just like, oh, like you guys should come with me. You guys will have a good time, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And we were like, the fuck is this, bro? Fucking Electric DC, Daisy Carnival. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it's called? Yeah. yeah electric it Daisy is. Carnival. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's literally what the more you know. So I didn't know anything about it. He was just like, yeah, you guys will have... Because he knew that we liked going out to party. Uh Okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, PG. So he was just like, yo, like, go with us. It's a four-day thing. Blah, blah, blah. Well, three-day thing, but we'll be there for four nights, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So me and DC are walking in, and we looked at each other, and we were like, listening fuck. to everything. We're like, we looked at each other like, yo, let's just go to the club. Because everyone's, yeah. like, dressed up. No, no, we didn't care about that. Oh. It but just we were didn't just, look interesting. It like, didn't bro. look, it didn't appeal to us or yeah. anything. And then, obviously, shit changed around, and we got closer to the stage, and we felt, like, the bass hit our body. Yeah. And we're like, Ugh. No, yes, and then, life. Yeah, yeah, bro. But I, I think I um, <laughs> what life? I had withdrawals for like two months. Bro. What you mean? Like you wanted to go back? No, like nah, I was cooked. Just like I was just dead. Day. I remember you could even ask my barber. My barber said that for like the next month he would cut my hair, and he was just like, "Bro, you look like you're dead." Nah, see, yeah, fuck that. No, literally, we were at work. That. We were at work like pale. Nah, just, yeah. just imagine like how consistent we are at the gym right now yeah and then just going hard for three days no filter and then coming back cold turkey. yeah like i was in really good shape cold i literally yeah. you could see in I some of the pictures no more, bro. <laughs> you could scared. see in some of the you could see in the pictures like you could tell when it's day one day two day three because we start looking or like grimier crazy. and grimier <laughs> yeah no i'm not with all that a picture yeah the good. cut started going away Chilly. No, literally. Yeah, no, no, no. Because no. I Real think life. the whole time I ate, like, uh, the whole time there, I ate uh, 24 Krispy Kreme donuts, and that's it. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I shit you not. Literally. That, that. So wait, like one, one dozen one day, and then the other No, like, throughout. Dozen. Like, I bought a dozen. I don't know how I did it, but I, I know I for sure didn't eat more than Krispy Kreme donuts that whole weekend. Bro, that's insane. Yeah, no, I'm good off that. I, I remember a walk in the park. We I were walking right out of... 
<laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Smoke. What's up with y'all, bro? This looks like this wall. Son. No, yeah, oh and I remember um god, you got all the pics. Bro. Got good archive. I remember we broke the exit sign at the hotel room. First night. Just the first around. night we were going, we were like tapping and like oh, tapping yeah, the backboard yeah. and we broke the shit out of oh, it. Oh my god. Yeah, bro. we were up to no good, bro. Literally up How to no good. How old are you guys? 20 21 maybe 21 oh, 22 yeah so yeah. you were like yeah fuck all this no nah, yeah we were no remorse yeah yeah damn nah 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 nah, nah. <laughs> I, I i don't know I, I learned from y'all just hearing this that's all i need to that's all i need to hear <laughs> hey, I'm yeah good, you gotta experience it nah i'm good i'm gonna go stay strong fellas out there don't fall into temptation all right just enjoy your life i am i am i am that's why <laughs> don't fall into temptation bro Oh man, good times. I want to hear more of these stories, bro. They seem funny. I mean, I don't know. Anything else? We were, yesterday, when I was at the beach, my homie was just like, oh, we should get. He literally, he was just like, we should put. Because it was me, my homie Ralphie, and my homie George. Mm. And George was like part of our like circle back in the day. Well, yeah. he still is, but like when we actually all used to actually hang out and hang out. Yeah. And he was just like, damn, like we're not too far from Sharkies. Bruh. And then he, they were like, Ralphie was just like, oh, we should just start the old group chat and just yeah. say Sharkies tonight. <laughs> so we used to go to Sharkies and Hermosa Beach. The the Mexican restaurant. Nah, it's no, like it's a like a bar. bar. Oh, it's a bar. Okay, okay. Yeah, See, yeah. I don't yeah, even know. But that, that, like in 2012, 2013 was like the cool spot to what, go what to. What would you say it was now? Like, what would you say it is now? No, you can't. You can't. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like, it's like super, right the super. Yeah. Oh, it's by like, the beach. It's, it's super th- what? <sighs> I don't know. Be careful, bro. <laughs> no, it was just like it was just like super like out of line, like just dumb shit would okay, happen. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, we'd be smoked like in the first thirty minutes. <laughs> bro, thirty See, what's minutes. Up with yeah. I remember. Oh, okay, so one time we uh we got super drunk, <laughs> okay, and DC okay. got super super drunk. Him and Willie got wrecked, like okay. completely wrecked in thirty minutes. Show you a good video. There's a picture. There's a picture of DC on the floor in Sharkies. No, no, oh, outside oh, at the parking God. lot. Even worse, get, and, and he didn't used to wear a belt, uh, so his pants fell off. <laughs> and, then hit, and then Willie's throwing up, literally, like insanely. Like it looks like right his soul is leaving his body. Ooh. When it's like you can, you can feel your your belly button. Yeah, and then the my back. idiot Oof. ass is taking a selfie video recording him. Who like, you? Yeah, and you have that video. Yeah. Though, no. Wow. And he's literally yakking. And I'm just like, oh, shit, he's throwing up. <laughs> Yo. So we threw them in the car, both of them. Yeah. And we just went back inside. And these Sharkies. were just dead, dead bodies inside the cars. Is that place still, is still around? Yeah, it still exists. It's funny because one of my homegirls just said that she went there her f- for her first time this like a month ago. And I'm like, bro, you're our age. Like, why are you there? <laughs> it's like a, oh, it's like a younger crowd? Yeah, it's like 21, 22-year-olds. I would yeah. say I don't know I don't anymore. Know it probably changed, but... We would go there every Sunday night. Wow! Literally every Sunday night. It was a Sunday thing too. That was and it, and like, yeah. because Sunday night was like hot as fuck. Sunday night there, it <laughs> was it was cracking, yeah. but it wasn't as packed as a Saturday night. Okay. But people would go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we picked Sunday to be our <laughs> night, bro. Yeah. The things that we would do, like as in like the dumb shit. I always tell my friends, I'm like, I just don't get how any of us didn't get in like crazy trouble or an yeah. accident or like, <clears throat> like it was bad, <laughs> like very, very bad. Yeah. It was, yeah. it was just like degenerates. Yeah. Like, th- I mean, y'all are young, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, there was always a stop after two, after what? leaving Sharkies. A what? We would leave at 2 a.m. and then still go somewhere else after. What was the, what was the next go to spot? You know, uh, a couple spots. <laughs> you know, there was yeah, a couple okay. spots, but <laughs> yeah, I was just like, bro. All right, I think we should take a break. Y'all, yeah, yeah, I think I think y'all need it. <laughs> Reliving <laughs> these moments. We'll be back. Not four, because you remember you messed up. Of the oh, you fucked up. <laughs> all right, quick, quick, quick. As we're talking about all this fun stuff happening, <clears throat> so I had an idea. Obviously, we're going to obviously we're going to Coachella. We're gonna film a pod. But then I'll, we were going to film it and then drop it weekend two. But I had a, 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 an idea. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. We should do it. We're going to do it live. So there's only going to be one camera. And that way, when we're there on Saturday, you guys can see like, oh, shoot, they're actually there. We can talk about what we're doing. You know, we might, we may or may not be a little bit more happier than usual. So I feel like, I feel like it'll be good. And then we can have you all live there. So let us know if you guys want to do that. If not... We'll drop it weekend too. Let us know in the comments. I feel like it'll be fun. Yeah, that'll be cool. 
I think it'll be good. I think we'll just do it. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. We're doing it. All right, never mind. It's less less fucking shit for Rob to bring. Yeah, facts. You just got to bring one camera and then that, and we lit. All right, so back to the sneaker talk. (laughs) Uh, Another shit that's coming out when, what's today? The third? Yeah. On Wednesday? Yeah. Uh, so the beast is raffling off the off white dunks. Oh, the with, Futuras? Uh, with Futura. Wow. Oh, uh, like the two it's pair. Like tie dye one, no? No, no, it's, it's just his. Is this print? The it's the ones that they showed for the show when he did the collab with Off White, and this was like a couple years already. Mm. Yeah, so they've been yeah. rumored to like come out for a couple years now, Off-white but they're Futura? Mm-hmm. yeah, but now they are um, actually dropping on via auction. Mm-hmm. Um, the guesstimator. I, I don't. No, no, a couple pairs. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know how many. I could be. I don't know. Maybe mm. the same thing like the LVs. Okay, 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 okay. So the beast yeah, guesstimated that they're only gonna go for two point five to four k. I don't think so. <laughs> That's cap. Doubt it. Doubt Wait, it. Yeah, both, th- both, yeah, both yeah, colors. So both pairs. Yeah. I told you it was tie dye. That's not tie dye. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> That's like spray can. Yeah, um, <laughs> no, but so <laughs> they're uh, they're coming out. And literally, they I saw the guesstimate because then when you go on the site, it tells you what they think they're gonna go 2. for. Two point five, bro. Yeah. Two point five to four k. I literally said, yeah, right. Bro, like, his his LV Air Force One was that was retail, no? No, that one uh. was guesstimated at ten to fifteen k. And me and DC were like, oh, let's try to buy one. And bro, and then that shit ended up like at a hundred. Hundred, hundred and fifty. Yeah. Did they say how many pairs they're gonna raffle off? I don't know. Maybe it, like it a probably size says, run? It probably says it like when one you of actually. Each size, maybe? Yeah, but wow. I think they're gonna end like maybe ten. 10 15k just gotta think about it if it's that limited and they're not coming out like i already know some like big player like um names in the sneaker industry that are gonna bid you know right away i'm gonna say 50 you think 50 i think 50 uh, 50 pairs like, no I 50 know, I know 50k i think 50 <laughs> just for reference look at the pair that david sold oh yeah that's true oh my god so just for something like that because it's amongst the same lines yeah there might be a couple more pairs in this one but yeah it's still like it's commemorative and obviously like R.I.P. Virgil with the passing of him. Yeah. Like you know they're not gonna do a wider release. Yeah. So it's like yeah, I'd say fifty minimum. Damn, that that'll actually be kinda crazy though. Yeah, because I guess it's like obvious not I guess. It is like uh, just um like an art piece, like a moment in time of mm-hmm. an artist. No, and it you is. have his piece. And if it's gonna be that limited of to fifty pairs, you think? You no, said? I said fifty k. What oh, they're 50K. gonna? Yeah, what they're gonna end at? I'd wear them. I'd wear Whoa, them. <laughs> what? Bro, it's a dunk. Nah, it's cool. Nah, it's nah, Futura. Nah. Yeah. Um, it's definitely like nostalgic for like people that had the uncles and stuff like that. Yeah. It almost looks the same, not the same, but like the same prints. Yeah. Um, another shoe that they <laughs> recently showed. Well, they showed it a while back, but now it's like coming in people's hands. Um, is the Rashid Wallace Off White Air Force One Mid. Yeah, the one that uh, that Uzi and Barry oh, wore yeah, the, the, black, the black and the white. black one with yeah, the sheet yeah, yeah. on the side. That's yeah. pretty cool. I just don't like the fucking spikes yeah, at the bottom. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. The spikes on the bottom. Because I like the the wavy sole, mm-hmm. but I just wish it didn't have like the, the spikes. spikes where it was all uneven. Because even if you flick them out, it's like almost like a block yeah. on your yeah. shoe. <laughs> but like, those yeah. are pretty cool. It's kind of um, cool to see on. And it's obviously that's Virgil doing his research and being like a sneaker head and being like, oh, it's our Air Force One with strap, you know, Rashid <laughs> Wallace. Yeah. yeah. Paying homage to him since he used to plan them and everything. And even doing like the patent leather with his logo on the side. Like it's cool. No, it's literally the high, the yeah. black high. Yeah. They're coming out? I don't know. I mean, they're, <laughs> I mean, retail pairs, but nice. like, as in like they're retail pairs, I guess, and like the ones that they're receiving. But yeah. who knows? Uh, they haven't said. But, you know, I think even with his, the Terra, his Forma. Mm-hmm. He gave it to them first too, so it might be one a rollout type thing. Low key, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then what else is coming out? Um, a lot. I, I don't know if we talked about it. The Ramo Z Dunks. Oh, the Supremes, yeah. Uh, we 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 touched on it a little bit. Have they given a confirmed date yet? That's no, the yeah yeah. But no, but I've seen more pairs and more pairs leak out lately. Yeah. So it's for sure sometime in the next coming weeks. Yeah, it's going to be this season for sure. I don't think it'll be fall, winter. But uh, Need? Want or need? I don't need. What? I don't want. <laughs> They're cool. Okay. I need um, the lows. Yeah, right. The lows, yeah, the lows are the lows. obviously better. Yeah, I don't yeah. really like the new shape on the highs, but yeah. they're cool to, for them to like touch up again. That's like going into the archive and being like, "Oh, we've done shit with Ramel Z before. Mm-hmm. Let's bring it back on a dunk." Yeah, I'm pretty sure if like even me just being a big fan of Supreme, that's cool. I mm-hmm. don't need them, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure like people like Nelson DC, for sure, um, Demo, and all those guys, they're definitely gonna 
grab a pair. I remember Dima was super horny for the um, Ramo Z decks that we had in the back of Round to New York City. Like yeah, yeah, super. Yeah, I remember that too. Like super. Um. Yeah, I so, mean, um, so if a pair comes in, are you gonna claim it or not? Like, are you? Is it like a one-time wear type thing, or you're just like, I don't? No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think I need those. Boo. Like, I see? think they're cool to look at, and I, I'm a, like. Uh, Boo. DC, what about you? Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I he's gonna want, have one, I want a pair for sure, uh, but it's not like something where I'm gonna be like, "Fuck, I need to get them as soon as possible." I'm definitely gonna wait for the release. Yeah, yeah. And let everything play out because I don't think they're gonna be going for that much. I'm saying like four to five right now. Obviously, yeah. it could change. Saying like three fifty. <laughs> yeah. That's not what you're gonna offer though. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I think it's gonna be pretty easily attainable, especially yeah. with the way Supreme is right now. Yeah, like even over the weekend they, or last Thursday, they dropped that undercover collab, and it was cool. Obviously, the fucking prices were a little bit more expensive on some of the yeah. like, like That's pieces. That's pretty cool though, too. I saw an, uh, the article that had people outraged was the high snobbity, uh saying that oh, Supreme that is, is dead. dead. Yeah. Oh yeah, they had people in the comments pissed. What's up with that? Uh, I don't know. A lot of people, obviously, if you don't like Supreme, do you outgrow it, blah, blah, blah. But, but don't say it's dead. I don't know. I mean, obviously, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Um, I just don't think it's dead. I think Supreme Resale might be dead. Mm -hmm. um, Facts. But I don't think the brand has gone anywhere. It's uh, He has bacons on. I have pants on. I have underwear on. Same. Same. I do, too. Um, I It's kind of hard to say. And, I again, I'm a big fan of the stuff they're dropping. Again, it just depends who, what you like, and but I've noticed a lot of people that do come in here. They're all big fans of what they're dropping and how easy, easily attainable it is. Yeah, I'm gonna relate it to the sneaker market right now, where it's like people are buying it now to actually wear it, and it's yeah. not just like to make money on it. And you, mm -hmm. you get a lot of cool shit because they're still making cool shit. Yeah. It's just more. Yeah, like I wear the. Volume. I'm not wearing them today, but I wear the Supreme baggy pan every day. Literally. Yeah. And then it was funny because I put it on TikTok and a lot of people hit me up for the link and I literally was just saying now everybody has it. Even they dropped those double knees. Everybody's running those double knees. Yeah. And the Supreme double knees are always really good. Yeah. Like I think there were certain pieces I remember back in New York where we would all go for the same piece. Yeah, we would literally like hit up like Lou shit, Dedon, uh, Nelson would walk in. Anybody that we knew would be like, yo, can you get me this in large? And literally they'll come one for every staff. Like mm -hmm. everybody from the staff wanted a, a piece. Wow. And it was always like the same stuff. Like it was like the flannels, the, yeah. the padded flannels, yeah. the, the double knees, the certain denim, the a collab. Fills. Huh? The, the biggies. The biggies. Yeah. yeah. Like it was always the pieces. <laughs> like it was never just like, oh, let me get a box of or oh, let me get freaking uh, the fucking Yeah, it, wasn't, it was the most obscure things yeah. where people would be like, oh shit. Like, yeah, you want it was that? just like a, like a basic thing. Like, oh, yeah. this is sick. I yeah. want that. Yeah. And, and I think that's the one thing that, like, I, get, I understand why you say it's the best brand because it's like, it's not always like a big ass fucking supreme arc on the front. It's just like, oh, it's a cool piece. Yeah. What, what was it say? You had that that purple flannel that you were like, this reminds me of my LV flannel or something like that. Oh yeah, the like the one that looks like it's like uh like stitched. It looks like padded, no? Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. not padded at all. It's just a regular flannel. Yeah. Where, where um, you, even you were like, yo, this shit like reminds me of like my designer shit. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's the thing where it's like, yeah. I don't know, bro. Obviously, I don't think it's dead either. But it's like, in every supreme drop. There's something that some like that someone likes like across the board, whether it's an accessory, a shoe, or this or that. Like, bro, they made a obviously an Air Force One. That shit sells out every single time. Yeah. Like, why? Because people still like it. People, it, they're just supreme. making good shit, bro. Yeah. No, yeah, thing. I had fucking Nelson in a blender. What you mean? Like in the comments, you should have seen it. Oh he my pissed. god. <laughs> Oh, he was Yo, going. Yeah, he was one of people? the people going in there. Nah. Just shit. <laughs> you shout seen out. the complex video that they got Lambo on it? Oh yeah, I saw. That shout great. out Lambo. Shout out Lambo the goat. Goaty. Damn, that's actually kind of crazy though. <laughs> I mean, shout out Supreme. We saw bobbleheads or what? We have Ooh, three. Key. One sold yesterday. Blue, blue and red. Yeah. Damn. Ooh, uh, speaking of New York homies, <laughs> uh, uh, Clark Kent is dropping his Air Force Two. I don't know if he's dropping it nice. or how it's, how it's coming out, the but least. he did the the list. Shout out all day. <laughs> I literally just, he just called me last night just cool. to catch up. <laughs> what a king. Um, no, but yeah, it looks cool. The little swoosh. I don't know if it's coming out. Let us know. I don't know. All day I need a size 10. Is it, isn't there um, uh, an ATL Air Force or a Dunk coming out? Yeah, that too. The big, they, they that gave big, the big boy? boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, damn, bro. They're just... Shout out Nike. They're actually, they're putting out, if you really think about it, a lot of stuff, bro. Yeah, like even, in different. Even the Terror Squad uh, Air Force is supposed to come out. I need those. What's that one? 
the, the terror squad, the fat Joe joints. Yeah. <laughs> there, huh? I don't know what colors are coming I, out. I with think yet. I think it's supposed to be two or three colorways. For sure, the black. black. For sure, the black is coming out. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's also like that's a grail. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Grail. That's yeah. A, no, like it's an Air Force For Grail, people. like a yeah. Terror Squad or OG Air Force. Uh, what what you what you offer and you got turned down. That you offered uh, somebody like three k for like a <laughs> pink and white one. Damn, don't you feel happy now? No, nah, because it's not the one that's coming. Bro, out. does that say Supreme? Where? Where? That plane? No. Nah. Oh my god, bro! I thought it did. It's a Supreme talk, bro. Got you on a blender. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they did the fucking uh, the helicopter yeah. shit. Yeah, but nah, I'm super <laughs> hyped to see it. Like, I don't know. Like, I know a lot of people don't like when like certain things release that were samples or whatever. But yeah, I'm, pers- I'm personally a big fan of it. I yeah. think it's cool because even for like the kid in me that wasn't able to attain any of these things because they were either like not <laughs> a- available, I just couldn't afford it. So the fact that like they're coming out and they probably won't sell out. Yeah. With, but who gives a fuck? Like if you like it, buy it. You know. No, but even like PG knows when he posted the info that they're coming out, he said I'm getting like 20 pairs minimum, yeah. and fuck. that's like an Air Force head. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's a person that should have be like, ah, oh, they don't, they shouldn't come out because obviously he has the OGs probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he's on, he's on the opposite type. He's just like, I'm oh, fine. when they sit for a hundred bucks, I'm buying every single pair I can. Yeah. It's even just, the Tiffany's aren't they supposed to come out with another pair? I mean, there's that's like Tiffany and with the black swoosh. No, that's the friends and family. Ah, pair. okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's FNF hair, and then obviously the black one. And it's crazy because they stopped coming in like cra- like they don't come in at all no more. Yeah, no, nah, we had them for a cool solid two weeks, and now like people are asking us for them. We're like, bro, like, we're yeah, not even nah. getting them. But I and I think that's that's something like so good is like that you're not upset about them retroing at them, I guess, or releasing them to the public because you're like, I don't fucking care if. Y'all don't like Air Forces. I still want them, you know? No, yeah. It's kind of like, I, I, I don't know if I've said on the Nostalgic. pod the pod before. I, I feel the same way about SBs. Like, I know not everybody feels like that. Yeah. To where, like, yo, there's some that, like, you can't get no more. Or even some that aren't wearable because they, like, peel and stuff like that. Like, yeah. Bro, it's a retro. And then also, like, you, you bring in a new market with people, like, you know, like, that want to buy it also or never had a chance to or may never have a chance to buy it because Facts. the OGs are astronomically priced. Facts. Like, it's like you guys are recycling all this other stuff. Like, why not just do that too? Yeah, and even speaking of that, I remember um, when I was like in elementary, in elementary school. When I was in middle school, mm-hmm. there used to be this is like this. It's new releases still. <laughs> um, everyone, like all my homies, had uh, the Puma. I think it was like the Puma Clydes or something like that. Like the ones with the good suede and the big like chunky laces. And I remember like low key, I, my parents couldn't afford that. So I got like the off. It was still Puma, but it wasn't like the Clyde ones. Mm-hmm. And just recently, Rigi put out a the 50 year anniversary of hip hop, and it was like a pink suede with the cream sole, and it has the fat laces. And it was just something about that when I was like looking at it, I was like, damn, low key, I need, because it was like that same thing where it's like I remember back then, I was like, damn, I couldn't afford that. And now I'm like seeing it sit on the website. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna get them, bro. And like I bought them, but it was just like that thing of it, obviously it's pink. <laughs> But it was just like, I remembered that time where I was like, damn, I couldn't afford these at one point. And now they're fucking just sitting on Puma and like no one really cares. But I still got them because I was just like, whatever, I don't care. But I recently saw a TikTok on it and that dude got like a hundred, like 250,000 views and all the comments like, yo, what are these? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, damn, like I hope they don't sell out. But yeah, that's how I, I re- kind of relate to that. Obviously it's not <laughs> Nike, but it's a Puma still. But it was something like I, I remember like, damn, I remember couldn't afford it. So be rocking pink puma soon and Rigi work for him uh, it's a full circle moment so you bought them <laughs> yeah i, mean, I so bought them. any pair of shoes pink pair yeah when you wearing them uh when they come in maybe hopefully by the nah they're not gonna be here there. but chatting? yeah but even like it's stuff like that bro where i'm like i'm not <coughs> buying traviesos all the time you, you gotta even, do, you gotta do a, a break dance nah <laughs> oh <laughs> low key yeah for, i could I, I, for y'all for those of you who don't know i i can i know how to dance Break, break dance? dance? Yeah, I right. did. I, I, my favorite B boy is uh, B boy Nagin. I don't know He's, who that is, but exactly. Shout out he, to him. He won Red Bull in uh, 2012. Oh, Fucking man. good guy. Oh, speaking of uh, traviesos, y'all were clowning me for wanting to get these used pair. Why? Why? What, what? I wasn't clowning you. I said get it. Clown. Yeah, I wasn't clowning. They said that they were to beat. Yeah. I said go ah, ahead. I know, but that's the thing where I'm just like, I want them because you know, obviously a seven and a half hard to come across. And brand new that how when did it come out? Like three years ago. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't know when it's gonna come back around. So y'all let me know in the comments. Should I keep the highs? Cause that's what I was gonna do. 
Sell the highs, maybe get a little bit on top. Get the beat, get the cooked ones. Those shits are selling first thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm leaving my shoes here just in case, but we'll see. I don't know. I, I want them for. I, I low key. The main reason why I do want them is for Coachella. That's the only reason. But then I'm like, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, bro, they're kind of cooked. But we'll see. Anyways. But yeah. <laughs> I think that's a good way to leave it off. Ah. Uh, so yeah. Coachella, Coachella. live <laughs> stream. Live stream. Low key. That's gonna be. I think it's gonna be fun because you guys can actually like interact with us and you guys can ask us questions. We'll do it. We'll go. So not oh yeah, what's what time? We'll go. 12? 11 30. 11 30. A.M.? A.M. <laughs> 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 That's 12 p.m. 12 p.m. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. We're gonna be rushing by the time we set up and all that stuff. Yeah. We're gonna be you're gonna be rushing because oh, live, 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 live at 12. Okay, 11, 12. All right, 12. Live at 12. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Nah, I don't yeah. know, bro. We'll see when we get to how everything I don't know, bro. If we went to New York with me, we wear out till five in the morning. I woke up at seven to go to the gym. Facts, facts. He did. He did. So I mean I, we'll I, go at 12. So Saturday, 12, Coachella Saturday. day two, noon. well, 12 noon. Live. Bro, you're going to be up at 8 watch. Everybody's going to be yeah, up. Yeah, like, it, I still get up. Yeah, like, my body is just, it gets you're up You're going to be in six, party seven. mode. You're going to wake up. Yeah, blah, yeah, blah. Hey, but it's bad, hey, bro, but it's bad bunny the it night before, 12. bro. It's bad bunny, though. It ends at 12. Hey, but there's a couple after parties, too. Nah, I'm staying home. Nah, oh, my. my day two. You're like, you're like, I ain't going to lie. We got pot the, tomorrow, the, bro. The Saturday after party is the one. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. All right, so, so it's gonna be fun. Saturday at twelve. Saturday not at this 12. Saturday. Not no, obviously not today. Next one. Yeah. Weekend one. We're gonna be there. Obviously, you guys can I think that's gonna be so much fun. I'm excited for that. For the pod. Not right. Coachella. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All and right. We're done. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys. Um, you can listen to us on podcast. Uh <laughs> Apple Pod, Google Pod, Google Spotify. Sheets, Spotify. Spotify. There's one more, there's one more. Shopify. That like Apple whatever. Music? Anyways, subscribe to the YouTube. YouTube. All that. We out.